Hey everyone, Depressed Eeyore here. Um, sorry to put this little break in your Pathfinder enjoyment, but I, I kind of wanted to go ahead and clarify a few things. Also, I went ahead and cut out a good chunk of um, the transition from the um, mausoleum to back to Long Acre. So, well, first let's uh, clarify one thing I forgot to mention. Um, so, when we had everyone uh, together um, going through the mausoleum, uh, and then for the final battle, it was on a separate day, which is why Dwayne wasn't there. Um, between that, um, between the time of that session, um, that session, and then the session where the the final battle occurred, um, we've been doing things like um, post, not really post mortems, but um, recaps. Usually, um, we do like our own personal recaps of like the adventure um, which we put up on Facebook and stuff to kind of just see everyone's kind of own view of what's going on. Originally we did this from the point of view of the player but um, recently we actually started doing it from the point of view of the characters themselves so when I do my recaps I do it from the point of view of Dialisa so usually it involved a lot of anger because well, Ma well Manius died. Um, well um, one of the recaps was from Shivuki and it was it pretty much was a lot of saying of uh, wanting to murder Dialisa and things like that. So what ended up happening between um, last session and the session with the final battle was um, Wes went ahead and just said, you know what, you, K you two Kadok neutral people, the both um, Shavuki and uh, Flex, you guys have been acting chaotic evil, so you guys are now chaotic evil now. So our alignments are now officially chaotic evil, not to the matters for Shavuki, because Shavuki's dead. But Bill is actually classified as chaotic evil now. So the only chaotic neutral people are, that are left, I believe, are um, Ugg and um, Bender. So just a little clarification there, because, um, well, some insanity is going to happen soon enough. Um, anyway, so the stuff I'm going to be skipping over, uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about now. So we looted the bodies. Um, there wasn't. It was there. Was some there was a magic ring, which is I. I think I believe I went ahead and identified as a ring of protection plus one. Um, there was full plate, a suit of full plate, which was a suit of full plate plus one. Um, the bodyguard had a dwarven. There was like a masterwork dwarven uh, cold iron war axe, um, which we took. Um, the wizard had a spell book. Um, there were a couple of potions, which. Um, haven't been identified yet. And I think that's about it. Um, we went ahead and... Um, Flex went ahead and looted um, Shavuki and took a few of her fingers to possibly resurrect her in the future. Uh, Dealisa does did take one of um, Manius's fingers, but we're actually taking the entire body back. Um, I did loot the important stuff off of him just in case. Um, and so we're taking the entire body back to um, Longacre. Um, Dealisa does know gentle repose, so it's, I can keep, uh, she was able to keep the body preserved, so there's no issues about it rotting and all that nonsense. Um, now, the only eventful thing that happened on the way back was the fact we were busy fighting off the diseases we suffered from, from the ghouls, because that triggered at the end of the day. Um, Dealisa managed to fight off her... Um, disease uh, just by making two consecutive uh, fortitude checks um, but for Bender it was a bit of a more of a struggle um, uh, Dealisa kept doing heal checks and kept feeding him uh, lesser restorations to try to keep him stable and it wasn't until the very last day of the boat trip which was a five day trip that he finally got fought off the disease um, at that point um, we get back to Longacre and we'll continue off from there so it ain't over yet folks and yeah, up. I'm gonna bring me back up to full health. Yeah, to full yeah. health. Yeah, I mean yeah. with just with, with just the bracelets, we can heal the full. Yeah. Hey, Brinkies, how's the band? Rocking on his fucking Botar still. Uh, you yanked away Bender. Dogs, dogs over in the corner head banging. Oh, that was me. I thought we were all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are we carrying the bodies around? Where? Oh, there I am. There's two Uggs. No, should have buried these at sea. Well, the only body we are carrying around is Manius. It's just these are tokens from a while ago. Yeah. <sighs> well, um, I guess I'll sit down with uh, Mr. Brownstone. Um, 
I will sit here with you. I'm assuming you got my message. As will I. Um, your shadow was very kind enough to assist us at the end. Um, the demon, or excuse me, the devil summoners have been dealt with. Uh, as far as I can tell, the un the undead were just there at the ma uh, mausoleum to begin with. Um, I have these notes, this journal, and this uh, book that seems to be of some infernal magics. Um, seems like he was. They are trying to do some rituals and experiments to try to infuse infernal blood into living creatures, and I think the the one that the shadow. Uh, sorry, um, your shadow, Slade, almost succeeded in turning himself into an actual devil. And yeah, that seems to be what was attacking the logging camp. Hmm. All right. Well, um, we also lost. Um, we lost Shavuki, and we lost uh, Manius. Shavuki's body was left behind, and Manius's body is currently in the wagon. All right. Hey, there's a wagon there. <laughs> Bring out your dad. <laughs> it's probably the we one. Did. It's probably the wagon well, you guys hang out around. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so, what's uh, Mr. Brown still got to say besides, you know, screw Savuki? <laughs> uh, well, good job. <laughs> uh, We're like battered and beaten. <laughs> took uh, took it a little longer than I'd hoped, but uh, you guys got the job done. And brought back some valuable intelligence. Hmm. And uh, yeah, just uh, take a rest. Um, is there anything we can do for Manius? Either raise dead or general rights or something? Well, uh, do you want to bring back. Manius back? I, it, if I can afford it, I don't exactly have that much. <laughs> I'd rather us aid. Actually, this is actually an important question. Uh, Dustin, do you wish to come back as Manius or do you wish to go ahead and make a new character? Hmm, that's something I'm I'm pouring over at the moment. All right, because yeah, the uh, for the spell to work, the the soul has to be willing, free and willing. Because I mean, I mean, definitely like role playing wise, there's def there's re I mean, Dia's going to try to resurrect you, but if if not, then I will just do the proper rites and make sure the house knows and all that stuff. Yeah, if you start arguing with this guy about bringing him back, I'm going to just stand here and make a point of saying, no, I want to get paid. I don't want this to cut into that. <laughs> I second that. Well, Bro fist me, Bender. Say... Bro fist. Boom. I'm, like trying to, I'm trying to like get my cousin revived, and these guys are fist bumping <laughs> without like, leaving him dead. Hey, I was going to say, why didn't I take a poll from the group? But that obviously answers that question. Well, I mean, majority of the party hates us, <laughs> so. This is very true. I mean, it's not like I spent 1,300 gold on that last fight. <laughs> well, you say the majority of the party. Um, well, the, It the is majority the majority. The exist <laughs> but it's still a majority. <laughs> yeah, but healing everybody is all well and good. But, you know, <laughs> you like everybody sacrifice. keeping us alive. <laughs> sacrifice and the spirit to and the will to commit murder is what really secured the win. Without me, we would have came back a failed group. Yeah, that's why I asked. Exactly. That's why I say we should get paid. My <laughs> friend died and you want to bring back homeboy McSinger man. All right. Well, how much would it cost to? Well, actually, Dustin, I still. What's your answer? I guess. <laughs> oh, like. I mean, fuck. I know you had like plot stuff, but I don't know if you want to be like a more combat effective character or anything like that. And I mean, you could still do whatever with your new character. <laughs> yeah. Realistically, I'm I'm looking at it like this: we don't have consistent DPS showing up often enough, so for the good of the party, I think it might be better if I rolled a different character. Okay. Otherwise, we're relying on flex. True. Which, as long as we have the healing, is been a very shitty plan. I mean, to be fair, we're also going to be hitting level five, and that's when yeah. I, that's when I explode. 
Yeah, yeah but this is true too. It's always. Yeah. But then we're going to be fighting people that are level five also. Yeah. And... I mean, to be uh, also just like what we encountered, it was literally like our bane. <laughs> What's that? It was literally our bane. We fought undead and stuff that was resist uh, immune to fire. Yeah. So it was kind of a double whammy for my character. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if you want to switch characters, that's completely cool. I mean, you definitely. I really hoped you didn't run back, but you did. <laughs> well, I didn't hear anybody's death scream, so I thought maybe, you know, I looked in, it looked all right. So, <laughs> he just ran right, right in. Poorly. Yeah. yeah. Well, really, you I saw made, three characters just crawl into the smoke. Well, yeah, I think it was quiet because everyone was playing dead while I was going around and Viz healing everybody. <laughs> Yeah, but the wizard like, like regrouping for a big charge. So <laughs> need as much help as you can get. Yeah. Yeah, with the uh, what you call it, with all the smoke, the wizard didn't know if anybody was still alive. Yeah. So she just held on to her last big AOE and prepped, uh, ready to fucking magic missile for the first thing that ran out. Yeah. Which was my face. Yep. And you took it like and, a champ. Yep. And once she saw that you were there, she figured the rest were there. So. Yep. Oh well. So yeah, if you are you gonna go ahead and re-roll? I think for the group, I think that's gonna be the best bet. When we had okay. six other, five other players or whatever, it was all right to have that much support, but we don't yeah. have consistent DPS. Yeah, our party kind of was formed weird because it was originally very, very heavy in melee and stuff, and it's like it kind of just changed overnight. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that. I remember my, a couple of people were just like, oh, fighter, melee, swords. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do some weird, obscure bullshit now. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I don't know what I want to be, but I think I'm going to be a melee. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I, I was planning on being melee, but I saw how melee heavy it was. I was like, well, fuck it. Okay, well, let's go with a different concept. Yeah, and it looked like everybody went with that way. I remember Davit wanted, Davit was looking at all the, like, barbarian archetypes and we were talking about it, and then all of a sudden he saw some Reddit post on the R Pathfinder thing where they were like, oh, I've specced a fucking uh, oh, barbarian range, an archer. ranged barbarian, just do this, and he's like, done, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Right. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not a good mix, but, I mean, he makes it work. Yeah, it's interesting, so, I mean, I mean, I to don't, say the I, least. It's but, not min-maxed well, but... Definitely. I, I would say that that would be an interesting and fun concept if you are used to playing and you did this regularly and were bored of the same old, same old. Yeah. That's kind of what most of my characters end up being like. That's why yeah, I'm like... I just like I just did the two-weapon fighter just because it's more fun than just doing the regular big two-handers. <laughs> and the archetypes are fucking cool, too. All right. So in that case, I'll just see about getting some funeral rites and getting... Uh... I'm going to go ahead and see about getting a message back to my house, which is further south in some city, which I don't want to look up right now. <laughs> All righty. Um, yeah. Also, I also, I... You probably want to send the signet ring. Yeah, it's a signet ring. Um, also, I'll probably need a list of like what all you had, because I'll go ahead and loot whatever, whatever else is left. Too easy. Too easy. There wasn't right. much. <laughs> So, uh, Brownstone er, says he'll help you arrange for funeral rites, and each of you get, oh man, because the shares have fallen since there are three party members absent, mm -hmm. uh, the three of you will each get 1,500 gold appeal. All right. All right, 1,500 gold. Wow, my gold finally got out of double digits. My gold amount went up a lot. Yep. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Shibuki. Uh, as for the protection, just like I'm just listing uh, magic items. So right now we have a great sword plus one, a rapier plus one, and a ring of protection plus one. Pretty much the only thing that's even remotely useful is the ring of protection. Ah, uh, dibs. All right, you can have it. Hey, it's Dwayne.
Where? He, he, I see his name pop up. Oh, shit. Hey. I'm jumping just in time to find out the disposition of his dead character. <laughs> Dumped in a gutter! Oh, wait, he's pretty big. I took all its <laughs> stuff. I Ch wore its necklace. I got a ring. Yep. Everything's really coming up. Flex. There's only one thing about that ring is since it's deflection, I can't the my buff will overlap it. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. So it's either you can you can either rely on the plus two from my buff or you can just have a constant plus one. Uh constant plus one is still pretty good. Okay. Okay. You know. I'm Unless we fight something that's like real big and that plus one becomes like make or yeah. break. Well, I mean, the only thing it's going to influence is I might not memorize as many Shield of Faith simply because there's not, it's not really worth a plus one AC. Yeah. I, I mean, once I level up higher, I'll get bigger bonuses, but until then, until then probably not worth yeah. it. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. Uh, Man, I got three equipped spots now. Hey, Wes. That's everything of any kind of value that I had. Yeah, Wes, I'll go ahead and send back the masterwork flute he had, uh, along with the body. Okay. And the rest all. Wait, is that? Rip in peace. I'll go ahead and whisper that question. Well, now I gotta figure out which one of you dickheads I wanna give items to to sell. I actually been doing that. I mean, I've always been giving it to Bender. I mean, yes, he's a thief, but... I that guess. means I know where to sell things. Yeah, and, I mean, you've been legit about it. That we know of. No, I don't fuck over the team, I just fuck over strangers. <laughs> Yay! So I'm, so, it's, so I'm doomed. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so hey, are you keeping that. track of that uh, shocking rapier now? Uh, it's a plus one rapier, but yeah, I have I have it listed. Okay, okay, I'll take it off mine. Yeah, I have the rapier plus one and the greatsword plus one. Um, I also have the oh. Dorvin Cold Iron War Axe. Uh, any of you guys even interested in that? Uh, no, but I will hand you this book that I found on that mage. Oh, thank you. Uh, all it is is some book of weird scribbling. I can't read it. Um, no point for me having it. Wes, I'll go ahead and flip through the book real quick. Is it just a spell book? Yes, yeah, it's just a spell book. Okay. Well, then I'll just put that there. Okay. Um, so uh, if I roll a Magus, can I get that from somebody? What, the rapier? Oh, the spell no, book? No, the spell book. Ah, shit. I might be willing to de will and deal. <laughs> um... Hey, Bender, I'm going to go ahead and hand you the Dwarven Cold Iron War Axe. You can see about selling it if you'd like. All right. Nice. Here, I'm about ready to I'm split it three ways. items on you. On me? No, on... Hold on. On Bender? Okay. How much... Yeah, how much did you say the... Uh... So, each scroll is like 25 gold? Uh, Level 1 scrolls are 25 gold each. Level 2 scrolls okay. are 150. What's Mage Armor? Mage Armor is level 1. Okay, so that's okay. And you sell items at what, fifty percent? Uh, scrolls, as long as it's not used, can be resold at original cost. Okay. But other Did, items uh, are fifty percent. A dwarven um, axe. Yeah, it's dwarven cold iron war axe. So, I mean, it's pretty much that cold iron is probably the big thing for it. It's also a masterwork. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put that in there. Masterwork. Hey, Wes, is there any way I can uh, try to get more money out of it? From Brownstone? No, from selling the uh, War Axe. Uh, yeah, you can try some, uh, some of that there diplomacy. Maybe, uh, maybe bluff. Depending on how you want to present the argument. Looks like I'm going with bluff. Ah, the robes tool. Well, you gotta present an argument, not just a roll. Oh. Fuck. 
Is that your argument? Dude, snake oil salesman, man. <laughs> this is why you needed me around. Should have just asked me to come along. Well, I did, because you have your thing. But I'm not going to intimidate him. I'll just stab him a little. I like to go 0 to 100. Yeah, you weren't there. <laughs> Basically, I'm just going to say that it's... Uh... Proven in combat to kill people. That's a weak argument. Well, he did roll 17. <laughs> so, is, so is every other weapon. I'll give you 45% based on the fact you try to be a haggling bastard. Damn. I got to actually do math. Oh, I don't. What, for 45%? Do you want me to intimidate him? Sure. Just yell, start yelling at him. So what's going to happen is this: two people died and two people are going to get arrested. Uh. Man, I suck. Hey Wes, the, uh, the full plate wasn't enchanted, was it just masterwork? Uh, did anyone actually I did detect, detect magic? Yeah, I, de I detect magic all the items. I just have yeah, it's, it's it's got abjuration on it. Okay. Um, I guess I'll do a spellcraft uh, on it. Hold on. Did you 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 honestly just try to intimidate the I'm shopkeeper? Yelling, all right. Just, just yelling about yelling how forty five percent is bullshit. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh boy. The uh. Let's see where this goes. The uh, I felt that. shopkeeper jumps back, fucking runs in the back room, and uh, flees out the back door. I'm helping. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming I don't know anything about this, and Wes, I'm going to go ahead and spend uh, 100 gold to get a person to identify the full plate. Alright. It's just a plus one full plate. Awesome. Alright. Plus one. Well, in that case, I'm going to uh, leave. Yeah, let's go. Quickly. <sighs> when are you going to grab the cash out of the register? Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's your god? <laughs> I take the cash out of the register. Uh... Alright, are you going you gonna to search around for his money? Uh, I guess I can search real fast. Yeah. This is... This is the most amazing trait wreck. <laughs> Chaotic evil. <laughs> so, right. th is there going to be more rerolled characters? Fuck. Fuck. Like there might be. Actually. So you guys, you guys jump the counter and you're scrambling around around the back trying to find a bunch of shit. Just the cash in the register. <laughs> Uh, just the cash in the register. He didn't sell it to us, so we're gonna take it. You don't, you don't, you don't find anything behind the counter. All right, what's the nicest thing on the wall? Oh, damn! Money. A really, a really big halberd. Dude, flex, grab it. What? This no, is... fuck you, man. Money's easy to hide. I'm not running out here with a big old target that says, hey, I'm the asshole. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think... I, <laughs> I just can't speak no good. I don't know. I, I'm, I think that's a pretty big target. Whatever. Because your witness already ran. All right, fuck it. I'm out. Yep, leaving. If he has something on the counter, I knock it over. <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> Like a family photo. <laughs> just knock it over. A bunch of fucking teenagers, man. <laughs> Me and Bender, partners in crime. So, Bender stealths back out into the street in the wide open. User entered your channel.
So you uh, get back out in the street, Bender, and your stuff doesn't help you in broad daylight. Oh, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. but uh, you could definitely see the shopkeeper and a healthy number of guards coming the <laughs> your way. Run the opposite direction. Give him the finger. <laughs> How? We haven't really done How? anything. So. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done anything. All I did was yell at the guy, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go up and apologize. So you go up and uh, you go up and apologize for my friend being an asshole. The guards detain you. Will you resist? No. All right. Ah, uh, Flex, you ran off. Running off. All right. Bender managed to buy you enough time to get away. The shopkeeper goes into his shop, however, and sees that the counter's been trashed and it looks like everything's been searched behind it. So, uh, Bender, your, your apology is moot. You'll be spending a little time in prison. Yay, prison. So you get to keep his hands. <laughs> Take the cash out of the register. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> oh my god. During your detainment, the guards asked for the name and location of your companion. I don't really know. I don't really know. Met him going in. You gonna be a narc? The shopkeeper provides a pretty good description that they can build a sketch off of. This is the best time I've ever had. <laughs> we went so far. Barely survived. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. But now it's the celebrate. We have now this officially became a did. regular D&D &D party. <laughs> this is the first time I've been Chaotic Evil, so I'm going to enjoy this for a slight little minute. Slight little minute. That is about the lifespan of That's a Chaotic true. Evil. Yeah. Alright, so Bender, Bender, are you going gonna, gonna to sell him out? I already said that I uh I just met him going in. Uh, make your bluff check. Hmm. Well, couple that with the fact that you apologize him when you uh, apologize for him when you went to apologize. They don't believe you. Oh man. So they take everything off of you and throw you in a nasty dank cell in nothing but some brown linen robes and uh, kind of leave you there. Oh, man, it really is a shame I'm dead because I go in and I interrogate people. That's what I do. It'll be fun. <laughs> Your ghost does. <laughs> he, he shows up and like, hey, man, I'm here Moonlight for some extra money. Oh, hey, Bender, what's up? <laughs> Oh, I can rat you out and get the reward money for Flex at the same time? Done. <laughs> so literally, I'm going to get the next job, and it's just going to be me. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Times. Good times. I'm, I, Flex is at I'm, large. I'm I am jail. honestly impressed. <laughs> the other half is dead. I mean, I, 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 I figured that the party would just fall apart at this point, but I didn't know it was going to be this way. You may still get Ugg. I, I, I'd rather just... <laughs> Why'd you have to remind me of Ugg? <laughs> He's gonna set fire to everything. And you never know, the darkness could show back up too. That's true. To be honest, I don't have any issue with the darkness. <laughs> and I don't plan on turning myself in. I, I know you don't. Sleeping out in the woods where me and Shavuki used to hang out. Does that mean you're gonna be making a new character? <laughs> No. All right. What are you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> that's kind of important. 
Well, as of right now, I don't know that I'm wanted, and I guess right. when I see a wanted poster up, I'll see it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's... That is a chain of events that may happen. I guess I'll have to go buy a giant robe. Wear it over me at the hood. Out of disguise. I will have to become the darkness. <laughs> and it goes full circle. So what am I getting charged with anyway? Wait, wait, you think this is like 20th century America? This is... You don't have rights. Did you know this is lawful evil town? <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Chaliax? Devil worshipping? I guess those things slipped your mind, eh? And the yep. only person that can probably say a good word for you is the person you despise and keep trying to get a book from. <laughs> no, I gave up on that. <laughs> Honestly, I actually don't know about the crime yet because I'm kind of busy, you know, dealing with family and writing down all these <laughs> items. <laughs> no. Nobody will know what happened to Bender until it's probably too late. This is yep. this is an interesting interesting end. <laughs> I am gonna have to find Dialyssa though. All of this was literally just to get a few more gold for a <laughs> for a, for a dwarven war axe. A cold iron dwarven war axe that would have been worth enough without it. I mean, at the very least, if they actually do anything to him, can I at least have his stuff? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see about that. This is, I'm I'm pretty. I I have to say I am impressed. <laughs> I'm gonna try and hunt down Dialyssa. I'm probably gonna be at the church. Okay. I mean, re actually, what I'm doing right now is just like writing down shit because people died and loot was distributed. Uh, Wes, was there um anything for the pendant? I think you said it was non-magical. Nah. Just gotta get it appraised or whatever. Okay, I'll go ahead and do a price check then. Might as well. So I can fail it. Yeah, I fail You it. obviously don't give it to Flex or Bender. <laughs> a lot of empty seats. I'm glad I didn't give you, like, the, the magic items. <laughs> <laughs> the cell. <laughs> wow. Oh, y'all are selling my loot now? No, like, like we have a bunch of, we got a bunch of magic items that a lot of them, like, our group can't use, because a lot of us yeah. are short sword users and stuff like that. But I was, gonna, I was gonna sell everything you had. True. Outside of the wooden mask, your weird ceremonial dagger, and the fingers I cut off your body. Oh, my fingers? Now you only need all one. All four of them. Oh, you took all four? I took all four. Nice. No need to be precise when you have a short sword. Just get them all right there. Jeez. Aim well, for the wrist uh, and hope for the best. A little linen doll uh, didn't look like much, but... Yeah, it stayed behind. I also took your necklace. Oh, um, also, I'll go ahead and ask Mr. Brownstone what to do about the book. It seems to be in code, and I haven't been able to decipher it yet. Well, he said you can keep looking at it, or you can give it to him, and he'll see what he can do with it. I will take a look at it. Okay. I mean, there's going to be downtime anyway. Alrighty. Which, my downtime will be figuring out all the fat loots, and then, I don't know. <laughs> Wondering why you've been alone? <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's... Nope. I'm going to hunt you down, and I'm going to tell you about... Life? Bender, <laughs> Bender getting arrested. I I want to I I would be kind of interested in what your story would be about Bender. Oh, I'll tell you the truth. Okay. Uh, that dickhead shot sheep, got all pissy and ran away. <laughs> and then as we were leaving, I might have knocked something over. And then he called the guards. Bender went to go talk to him. That was dumb. I ran, like he should have. I also gave him the finger. Oh boy. And so now you uh you show up to the church and you're stopped at the door. Oh. They're uh they're not gonna let you in. But uh Oh you're talking about flex or are you talking about me? <laughs> I was like holy flex. shit <laughs> Flex. Since you said you were at the church. Yeah, I'm at the church. So 
He, uh, the, the priest at the door says they'll go fetch whoever you need to see. Okay. I need to see so, Dialysa. So they, they go and get Dialysa. Wait, wait, say that again. <laughs> I need to see Dialysa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm... Did you enjoy it just because of the disappointment of my voice, or what? what was that? Just the fact that you said you needed me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need dialysis. It's like full circle. Alright. I guess I'll go out and see him. Uh, yes, Flex? Alright. I'll be very real with you. Oh, God. You don't like me. <laughs> I, I don't like you. Yes. But we work well together. I suppose. I suppose. There might have been a tiny problem. Bender may or may not be in prison, but probably may. Okay. So what is the charge? As we walk, because uh, I'm gonna walk you away from. You no, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna stay at the door. I'm gonna stay at the door. Okay, then I'm gonna whisper it right in your fucking ear, and we're gonna get real weird with this. <laughs> I whisper, whisper, so, whisper. That's fine. We're like literally the only people still alive and not arrested. Good, exactly. <laughs> We are. Uh, funny story about the arrested thing. Uh, I think Bender got arrested. Look, the, the the dude behind the counter is being a dick. I yelled at him. He ran. He got the guards. I ran. Bender decided to stay behind and, like, do a thing, and they were walking him off in cuffs. I got away. Uh... Anyways, that's a <laughs> I also might have knocked something off the counter as I was leaving. That was a mistake. Was it? I'm a big guy. <laughs> I'm just imagining what sort of gesture you make while saying I'm a big guy. <laughs> do you, uh, you want to roll some sense motive for that? You know what? Why not? I haven't used that skill in forever. Man. I've done nothing. Hey, I rolled bad. Alive. I rolled bad. You have a chance. Because I have plus 12 on Sense Motive. Damn. Am I, am I rolling ball? Yeah. No. Hey. <laughs> so you knocked it oh, over. Yeah, he... <laughs> somehow, okay. you don't, somehow you don't believe that was all to the story. Yeah. Yep. Well... Since you're now essentially a wanted criminal, you might want to talk to Mr. Brownstone. I can okay. walk with you, and you can that tell the story be... to him. Uh, God. Cause... Just like mom and dad being disappointed in me. You tell do, you, do, you, do, you want, do, do you want me to say I am disappointed in you? Yeah, a little. <laughs> Flex. I'm very disappointed in you. Yeah, well, you're... <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you may have a weird boner now. <laughs> it's not weird. It's only weird if you acknowledge it and say it's weird. Uh... So... One day. I just wanted one day of rest. <laughs> After all this. Five. You know my cousin died, right? <laughs> I didn't yeah, know I know that. I was there. You didn't tell me he was your cousin. You know my best friend died, right? Yes, the one that... The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Suck it. Now let's go deal with this thing, please. <laughs> this is... I'm not stupid, I just can't talk This is so schizophrenic. <laughs> Alright, I'll go ahead and walk with Flex to Mr. Brownstown. You can explain it to him. God damn it. I hate tell I hate I hate the phrase wait till your father comes back. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just tired of this shit. <laughs> I'll see what happens from here. I look like I haven't slept. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mr. Brownstone is not amused. I am not either. Um should I be excused? <laughs> I do still have to deal with funeral rights. Yeah, you can. Go Thank ahead. You. Thank, uh, you, Thank you, sir. I hate admitting when I'm wrong. 
<laughs> this is such bullshit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my god. I know! <laughs> if the rolls had just worked... <laughs> if the die... <laughs> if Bender would have fucking ran... Oh, look at me. I'm the rogue, and I love stealing things. Up, oh, hey, I got caught. Better go turn myself in when I have a chance to run. Stupid. You call yourself a thief. Brownstone wants to know what happened. <laughs> Do you want to type buff check? Anyway. <laughs> Here. We'll keep this accurate. What? I missed what Wes said. Oh, he wants the story. What? Brownstone wants to know what happened. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> there we are, talking with the guy, and he tried, Bender tried selling him the thing, the axe, and the... He tried to oversell the axe. The guy said, this is, no, he cut us down. I yelled at the guy and said it was bullshit. And he ran out the door. We might have looked behind the register. And as we ran out, I might have knocked something over. Bender apologized, or he walked up to the cop. I ran. That's what happened. Bender's arrested, I think. Ah. It's the exact same sound I made. So you go to sell something, the rogue attempts to barter and fails miserably so the guy says he'll counter barter by giving you less money for something that he may not believe is actually what it would be anyways which at that point you yell at him for whatever reason and after you frighten him away you thought it was a good idea to pillage through the shop's personal space behind the counter for what I will assume is probably the money and then knocked over stuff on the way out. This is accurate. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, yeah. You, you're an idiot. <laughs> Both of you are idiots. I'm not dumb. I just keep not <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you just yelled at him, maybe knock something over, okay. But the part where you rummage through the counter in an attempt to take things, that that kind of makes this bad. I see that. So whose idea was it to, uh, you know, take the money? Um, both of ours. So you're both equally as guilty. We're both equally stupid, yes. Stay here. All right. He leaves. I'm back at the church. I don't even want to know. Are you, are you, <laughs> are you going to run, Flex? <laughs> you know what he's doing. Yeah, but then we won't get any pay. 
I I, like I think pay is the least of your worries at the moment. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. There's still a window. Do 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 do. Roll an action. Do you wish to roll an action point? I can't roll an action point. <laughs> it it might make you feel better. <laughs> roll it for damage. <laughs> I'm going to roll damage to use an action point. This chain of events. This was fun. It, I, I, it is hilarious, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am numb from this. <laughs> so Brownstone returns after about an hour. Okay. <sighs> and, uh... He says, give me all the money I just gave you. Oh... Damn, okay. <laughs> donate to, donate to the church. <laughs> so, he retrieves the 1,500 gold that you were awarded, or your, uh... Completion of the last mission. Looks at you, says, this is the cost of your freedom. And says, if you do anything stupid in this town again, I'll kill you myself. Fair. You might be worth five kills. Bender, the next yeah, morning, yeah. you are released. However, you have ten gold left to your name. And your swords and your armor. Any loot you're carrying has been confiscated. <sighs> but you're free now, and you have your swords. Just the swords? All four of them? <laughs> no, just the... the basic ones. Oof. Yep. <laughs> wow. The magistrate reminds you that you should be lucky they don't cut off both of your hands. How uh. <laughs> texture were you trying to get for that? It, you don't, I don't, I honestly don't even know how this chain of events even like co coherently happened. <laughs> I think I had like an aneurysm in the middle of it and it just kind of blurred. <laughs> Do I at least have my crossbow? I... Have your what? Crossbow. Yeah. But there's definitely no uh, no cold iron war axe there anymore. Yep. Oh shit! Does that mean he lost his bracelet of pot? Fuck. Ah no! They'll give him that back too. <laughs> I mean, it's not worth much, so... Well, if he's that stupid, he obviously needs it. <laughs> wow. I have to say, it's that was very entertaining. <laughs> but, wow. Okay. So... Well... <laughs> <laughs> I will say... <laughs> that was amazing. That was fun. That was I'm not gonna lie. As bad as that went, <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. Next time, run. <laughs> when the fighter gets You're... off better for committing the crime with the thief, <laughs> you know you fucked up. <laughs> Didn't mean to cause you such a headache, Wes. Sorry. <laughs> for what it's worth. Oh, that's okay. It's okay. Hopefully you all learned your lesson. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Still chaotic evil. <laughs>